in terms of like the scene where you are with your girlfriends and these heavy hitters, the, you know, June Squibb and and um, Mary Kay Place and Real yeah. Perlman, and I mean, that's a, a very funny scene. It's also yeah. you know kind of uncomfortable to watch. But how did you get the com comedic timing? Did you have to do that many takes or? We didn't do very many takes. We only had 18 days to shoot. I think you know it's so seamlessly designed that the script was so seamless and that it did transition so beautifully from. From, from the comic to the moving to the... Any of that medical marijuana. It's got to warm up. I know what I'm doing. All right, all right, let's get this going. You guys having a party? No. Uh, and I think there was a rhythm and there was a chemistry. I think we really just got so lucky, at, first of all, to have Brett at the helm. And also his casting was just so, so perfect. You know, every character seems to just share the, each other in one another's rhythm. We all just had a very, very lovely coming together. It was just not an effort. It, it was very little effort, which I thought, didn't think that would be the That's case cool. going into it. Guys ask about you all the time, Carol. Don't start with the second husband talk. Couldn't pay me. But they do pay you uh, when they die. Yeah, it was a rare thing. The chemistry between Bly, because Bly is in every scene, so... You know, she, every scene. She's so. never, she, she hadn't worked with any of these <laughs> actors before. I think she only kind of, you kind of knew June. I knew, I knew Mary Kay. And I knew Henry a little bit. Right, but a little bit, but, you know, but the, the fact that everybody came together and felt, it felt so instantly I real. Think that happens a lot too in independent films. Everybody is just so happy to have a great script and a, a wonderful cast. Everybody's so enthusiastic, all the young people and the. You know, nobody's jaded. No, the the crew, everybody is so pushing for for this to be a great experience. Yeah. Well, but it's so, not only a great script; it's a great cast, and so you have a lot of people to play off off of. Yes, absolutely. But also, I, I wanted to talk about the speed dating. What are your interests? Well, um, I'm going to cut to the chase here. If that's okay. Sex is still very important to me. I mean, I don't have herpes, but it's it's okay with me if you do. So that wasn't so bad. I live a long, healthy life for that. What the hell was I doing in there? Oh, lighten up. <laughs> yeah. Which I've never done in real life, so it really was a nice surprise. <laughs> I mean, I knew what was on the page, but these characters are hilarious. It was really Yeah, funny. and that comes from, that comes from real life. Um, you know, I, 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 I actually saw some footage of a senior citizen speed dating. <laughs> Deal and I saw the Kickstarter for the movie. Right. And that was amazing. Yes. That was yeah. really fun and to see the reactions of the people and how you oh, yeah. and Martin Starr yeah. talked to these people and got the reactions that you did. Yeah, I mean, and those are all real. Again, very honest. And we actually, you know, took from the experiences of interviewing those lovely people who were all extras in the film, by the way. They're oh, all that's in the film. Great. They're in the speed dating scene. They're in the background of all sorts of scenes and, you know, sharing celluloid with Sam Elliott yeah. and Blythe Dan. It's a real love. I want to ask about the singing because I know that you were really, in your heart of hearts, would love to be a jazz singer. Yeah, that was and always my first desire. Oh, you say. You're lonely. Growing old was the furthest thing from my mind. People can spend their whole lives trying to find that feeling. And at the end, everybody gets it. Because I cried a river over you. But you have a lot of passions, and one of them is environment as well, and also yes. oral cancer. Yeah. Uh, they, well, they sort of go together because so much of the, so many of the toxins in the, you know, that, that are running rampant are associated also with oral, oral cancer. This is Oral Cancer Awareness Month, and I urge people to go online to oralcancer.org to find out where they can get free screenings. My husband's um, fund, Bruce Paltrow fund, Bruce succumbed to this disease, sadly, is dedicated to in, in inner city, to disenfranchised communities who can't afford to get these screenings, and, and it's really an epidemic.